Sometimes when you're programming in Python, you have a list and you want to select just a portion of that list. So how do you do that? Well, let's go ahead and create a list. My list equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there's this list of nine values. There are nine integers. The first one is position zero, and the last one is position eight. So just remember, it starts counting positions or indexes from zero. So if I do my list zero, it will return one. If I do my list eight, it will return nine. Another thing you can do that's interesting and useful in some cases is do my list negative one. And you might be thinking, wait a second, that's not in the list. Well, it starts cutting from the other side. So that would be number nine. And my list negative two would be negative eight. So you can see, or be eight. So you can see how to select different positions counting from either side. Now, if you go outside of the list, so my list position number nine, which is outside of it, you can see it has an error. If I do my list negative, let's see, negative nine. Um, I guess it's counting back the other way. So if you do my list negative 10, then you get outside of that list. So just be careful with that. If you wanted to know how many items are in the list, you could do len for length and then my list. All right. And you can see that it has nine items which start from zero to eight. And that way you can do go over range. Now we wanted to select a, a list, a sub list from this list. So what you can do is you can do my list two equals my list. And we can start with our starting index zero all the way to the number position of something. So let's go ahead and see what we can figure out what this does. So do my list two. You can see it has zero, one, two, three, and four. So what is it doing? Well, it's going from position zero all the way to before position five, which is really confusing because you might not think intuitively that's what it's doing, but that's what it's going. It's going from zero to before five. Now, if I wanted to go to the end, if I did something like my list zero colon, and you say, well, I'm gonna go to the end. Well, what is the end? Well, the end is position number eight. And so if I go, okay, I'm gonna go to position number eight. And you look at that and it returns one through eight. And you're like, wait a second, that didn't include all of them because it's the position after eight. So you're looking at everything before position eight. If that makes sense. All right. So now you can do something and say, well, I wanted to go to, um, let's say I want the middle, middle five in this list. Well, where do we want to go from, from where to where? And we have five positions. So maybe you wanted to go to my, oops, my list and you could do zero, but you want to do the middle three. So you go three and you want to go all the way up to position number zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, but you want to go the one right after it. So you go to seven. So say zero, seven right here. And you get the middle. Let's see. Oh, not position. Not it's position two, not three. So my list two up to seven. And then you can see that you get the middle five that way. So you need to be aware of where everything is and the order and make sure you don't get off, but that allows you to select individual things. You can select part of it. You can uh, even use the negative numbers. For example, you can do my list from position one to negative one and see what that selects. And because that doesn't work, 
with a comma my list one colon negative one one colon negative one you can see that selects the middle seven right because the negative one is actually position number eight which is the ninth position if i wanted to get the middle middle five again i could do the same thing just do my list two negative two and then you get the middle five so just helping you select parts of a list and this can be really useful in your programs.